separate me, God, oh, separate me, separate me from the things Lord, that hinder me. Yeah, I want to leave. God, oh, separate, separate me, me from those that don't need Father, him. Things, Lord, I need me. Jesus, I want to leave. I want to leave. I love to live where you are. Oh, Lord, just right, just right where, where you are. are. You are set for an encounter tonight. Rise up from wherever you are and give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Right now, pick your phones. Put a call through to your friends. Send them the links. Let them know that the command of your day prayer has started. Today's time is 1030. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 118 verse 23. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Lift our voices and appreciate God for his goodness, for his mercies, for his loving kindness upon our lives on this mountain. Father, we love you. We honor you. We thank you for your marvelous works in our midst at this commanding your day prayer. Father, we are grateful for the miracles, the testimonies, the breakthroughs you give us consistently. Jesus, to you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all the praise in the name of Jesus. And for what you are set to do today, we ask, so oh God, for your presence. We ask for an encounter. We ask for a visitation tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. God's servant has declared today as our day of communion and Holy Ghost night. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Lift up your voices and make demands on God. Father, at this place of prayer, I connect the power for progress. At this place of supplication, I connect the power for direction, for transformation, for provision, for wisdom in my life, my life's adventures. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. And regarding your servant, we ask for fresh grace. We ask for fresh unction, fresh strength, oh God, like never before. Thank you, Father. Father, for answers to prayers in Jesus name we have prayed hallelujah again pick up your phones send the links to your friends call your neighbors call your loved ones let them know that God is set to do something massive in our midst today with Jesus joy put your hands together for Jesus as welcome the praise team hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 we give a praise hallelujah. we worship you Lord
Give the Lord a praise tonight. Wherever you are, put your call through. Reach out to your friends, your loved ones, your family. Let them know it is time for us to connect to the command that in that prayer. Please be stay in God's presence as we look at some testimonies very quickly. We have testimony from Victoria all the way from Lagos. Greetings to all command that in that prayer family. Above only, that's my place. God is indeed on this altar. Nobody introduced me to this program. I had never heard of Dunamis before, but on April 9th, 2024, I slept in the afternoon and I saw people testifying and I heard Dunamis and medical doctor to cut the dream short. When I woke up, I was confused. When I decided to google the name Dunamis and it was there, I found out about this midnight program and read about God's servant and, hand, and, and handmaiden online. I discovered they were both doctors and ever since then, I joined this program. Since that time, I have been full of joy. I am not scared of the future like I used to be. I, and I am not scared of any negative vision coming to, coming to pass in my life in the future and over everything that concerns me. Glory to God on this mountain. God bless you. Glory, glory to God on this mountain. God bless you all. Hallelujah. We have Olufemi S.A. from Elori. Good evening. Command the day in that prayer crew. I want to testify to the goodness of God for his love and healing. In 20, I prayed against. But lo and behold, what I feared most came upon me because my dad had died due to heart issues. In 2022, I went into depression due to some marital issues. And as I was coming out of that problem, the heart issues came up. But I never told anyone. I was introduced to command the day in that prayer by my wife. I received the link which she always sent to me but I never watched due to the nature of my job. On March 29th, my wife prevailed on me to watch the live transmission. And to the glory of God, when pastor was making declarations before Dr. Reconnolly's ministration, I felt a certain sensation. And the only thing I could say at that moment was, Lord, heal me. And the pains I've been having since the inception of the illness disappeared. The signs of stroke on my right arm also disappeared. I thank God for this miracle. May the Lord bless you, sir and ma. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the praise. Amen. Testimony from Sister Christy A. from Moscow, Russia. Above only greetings to the command that they have been that prayer crew. God did it for me on the 16th of April, 2024. On that 16th, after Dr. Paul Enenche and Dr. Mrs. Becky Paul Enenche prayed for us to receive our gifts as the 30th year wedding anniversary gift, I keyed into the prayer believed and rewatched the prayers later that next morning i am celebrating oh god has finally done it my long-term relationship finally proposed to me on that very day i am still in awe this can only be god thank you jesus for this precious gift on this special day in the life of their parents in the lord god bless you sir and ma immensely happy blessed glorious joyful an amazing 30th wedding anniversary again. May the good Lord triple those years if it tarries to come in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Above only, that is my place. Picture attached. Wow. Powerful. Glory. I'm engaged. <laughs> Give the Lord a big clap. Long time relationship that uh, materialized on the same date as the anniversary. To God be all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony from Precious from Lagos. Above only, that's my place. I want to testify of the goodness and mercies of God upon my life and family. Number one, the Lord has indeed honored the words of his servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, in my life. I started sending job applications since the beginning of the year with no positive response. Almost throughout the month of March, I attended interviews in a particular place I applied for job. They kept asking me to come back the next day, next week, for further interview. At last, I concluded the interview and I was hoping to hear from them before the end of March. However, I did not. At some point, I became tired and frustrated and just decided to leave everything to God. Boom! On the 30th of March, 2024, during command the name in that prayer, our senior pastor, Dr. Paul Lenenche, gave a prophetic declaration, and I quote, Someone is stepping into the month of April with celebration. You are celebrating your way into the month of April because what you have been expecting is just happening between the junction of March and April. And within that first week, I see hundreds and thousands of people getting their job letters and employment letters. 
as the second quarter is starting, you are stepping into a new office, a new employment, stepping into a new role, stepping higher in your assignment. I shouted, Amen, and believe God that my turn to testify has come. So the glory of God, on the 4th of April, I got a message from the HR asking if I was open to resume immediately. People of God, I got my offer letter, and today I have been employed by a top firm. Hallelujah. Number two, I also want to thank this great God for healing me of kidney infection. I had this recurrent pain on the right hand side of my abdomen. It first started as abdominal pains, and around February it became severe. I met a doctor and he asked me to do a scan. The scan result came out and it showed that it was an infection of my right kidney. I got really scared and started praying to God to show me mercy and heal me permanently. Sometime in March, the senior pastor made declarations commanding the right kidney to be healed. He says someone was having a pain on the right flank of the abdomen like a kidney pain and commanded the pain to go forever. Brethren, since that day till now and till eternity, I have not felt any form of discomfort, not to talk of pain. I am completely whole. Thank you, Jesus. Number three, finally, since January, I have had this aff affliction on my tongue down to my truth. I've been, I've been taking drugs, but it seemed the more I took drugs, the more the pains increased. But on the command of the day of prayer of the 5th of April, God healed me through his servant during prayers. Senior pastor says, Someone, somebody with an ulcer on the tongue, an affliction on the tongue. I take authority over that satanic affliction. It is arrested right now. Be free in the name of Jesus. Since then, the pain has disappeared. I can now eat and talk comfortably without any form of pain. May the Lord, may the Lord increase the, May the oil of God on you never run dry in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I shall be back with more testimonies. The picture and declarations attached. Yes. He said that, that someone is stepping into the month of April with celebration. You are celebrating your way into the month of April because, because what you have been expecting is just happening between the junction of March and April. And within that first week, I declare... I see hundreds and thousands of people getting their job letters and employment letters in the name as the second quarter is starting. You are stepping into a new office. You are stepping with a new, into a new employment. You are stepping into a new role. Stepping higher in your assignment. Hey! Somebody with a, 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 an ulcer on the tongue, the tongue itself, whether it's a, 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 a I don't know, but a, an affliction on the tongue. I take authority over that satanic affliction. It is arrested right now. Be free. Stand on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Let's go, 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 go. To be honored, oh Lord, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. To be honored, oh Lord, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Comfortably seated. 
and I want to congratulate you for being here in this special edition of the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayers. I believe that your miracles are coming speedily in Jesus' name. Let's take a look at a few more testimonies tonight. Sister Blessing Anthony from Abuja says, Good morning, my dear people of God. God is really present on this prayer altar. God has healed her five-year-old daughter and herself of toothache. She had been suffering from toothache for more than 20 years, and she has extracted one, but the rest kept breaking on their own with excruciating pain. As a matter of fact, she discussed with her husband that she will be going to the hospital on Monday, the 15th of April, to see a dentist. But her word came at the commanding day midnight prayer that same day, the 15th of April, 2024. During the personal supplication, she tabled her pains before God and asked him to heal herself and her daughter. The senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, declared that that dental condition is over forever. Immediately, she felt a cold sensation round her body, and behold, the pain disappeared. She has been looking for it, but it is nowhere. It is not there anymore. Hey, she can't believe this. Now, she can eat whatever she likes and even chew the way she wants without having pains. God is good. Hallelujah. May God Almighty bless you, sound man. All the commanding day midnight prayer crew for making yourselves available to be used by God for our sakes. Thank you, Jesus. Declaration attached. So it's that dental condition. I declare it healed right now. Hallelujah. Let's take a look at the next testimony. Sister C. Beauty N. from Lagos says, Good evening slash good morning to the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. She blesses God for the obedience of her parents in the Lord and the crew of the commanding day midnight prayer in keeping the fire on this altar burning. On the 3rd of April, while God's handmaiden, our mother in the Lord, was reading our testimonies about the lady who stays in Little Rock, Orange County, in California, USA, she was in awe of how God described her exact location and situation when it got to where she mentioned that she had just ended, thank you, uh, a three days fast. She said to God in passing that she had just concluded a fast tour too, and left it at that. But when it was time for personal supplication, she was overwhelmed by all that's been happening in her life. And in tears, she asked God to please mention her like he did to the woman in Orange County and continued in this vein until she heard God's servant say, by the name of beauty and the enemy wants you to experience ugliness, that that cannot be your portion. Like the man at the beautiful gate. The name of the gate was beautiful, but the situation was ugly. People were moving around him, but he was stagnant. God's servant took authority over the spell of delay, stagnation, arrested development. Everyone is moving ahead while this beauty remains on a standstill. He broke the spell and sent it back to hell. She was shocked because beauty is her middle name. She doesn't like the name because it's the opposite of what her life has been. In, she's the first of four girls. She's 41, an MSC holder with nothing to show for it. Stagnation, limitations, rejections, and disappointments at the edge of breakthrough. Moving around in unending cycles have been the order of the day. Her siblings are all married and doing well. Everyone around her is making progress, but nothing is happening with her. She's unmarried, career stagnated. When it seems like there's progress, it just fizzles out. Rejections without explanation. She kept seeing herself in her secondary school uniform, writing exams again, or in her old neighborhood, or in an ancient rickety building in her father's house. Nothing was happening with her. She had to pack out of her rented apartment to live in her father's house for close to two years now because terrible. of her financial status. Terrible. She has prayed about this many times, but nothing happened. Until this accurate Whoa. word of God to our father, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. She knows that the delays are now over and the spells are broken forever. She believes that she has entered into a new season 
of her breakthrough, fruitfulness, destiny. As you have entered, step. Amen. Declaration attached. By the name of beauty, Master Keko Makalafito, Lekefina Kalayata Sananashte, Letas Kefratana Gaga, and the enemy wants you to experience ugly, but that shall not be your portion. Like the man at the beautiful gate, the name of the gate was beautiful, but his situation was ugly. People were moving around him, but he was stagnant. I take authority over that spell around that beauty. Name beauty. Mahashada Galayadada. The spell, the spell of stagnation and delay. Arrested, arrested progress. Leke pata litafa. Everybody and everything around you is moving, but your life is on a standstill. Detained by the devil. Maritally, spiritually, financially. I declare that your kiss broken. Amen. Go forward, and everyone here that is connected to this altar, no devil can detain your destiny. Amen. No devil can detain your marital destiny. No devil can detain your financial destiny. I declare your release. Oh. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Amana James, resident in Kaduna, says, Good evening, commanding the midnight prayer family on the second of april 2024 during the commanding day midnight prayer session his name was mentioned and prophetically uh, was mentioned prophetically by the senior pastor dr pastor paul enenche he was not even aware of the prayer program because he was not a member of dynamis church but one of the sisters in their own church who was participating in the prayers informed him the following day on the 3rd of april and sent him the link after listening to it, it confirmed the affliction that he'd suffered during the third quarter of 2023. All his life, since he grew up to know himself as a man, he has never been sick to the point of admission in hospital except that last year. He was almost gone, if not for the prayers of the brethren and family members, especially his wife. Since then, he has been linking up to this great prayer program every midnight. He has also invited his elder brother who was afflicted and was diagnosed of hepatitis C to the command day midnight prayer as they were believing God for a healing miracle. God is truly working here. That was too much of a coincidence. Even if there were a million millions, if there were millions of Amana James, he has claimed this miracle and shall be coming with mega testimonies on this altar. He is really grateful to God for the vision of Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche and Dr. Pastor Becky Enenche. The great oil on your head shall remain till eternity. He promised God that he would testify to his glory. The declaration is attached. Amana. A-M-A-N-A. God is speaking to you in that word. And I hear James also. I don't know if they are the same person. Kai, Amana Kai, James Kai. Now. We are connected. Wow. I prophesy to you. Lato Seperu Nakalayata. Who is he that says, and he coming to pass when the Lord commanded it not? I decree today what they say you cannot become, you will become. Amen. Those who have rejected you and left you, disconnected from you, and they are not expecting much to come out of your life. Hey! 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 God is about to do something. He's about to literally organize a coup. He's about to bring you out of the background and push you into the forefront. Bring you out of the shadows into the limelight. I am speaking to somebody as well as the person who that name is. Within this season, it is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Paul of Obaji James, Meduguri, Borno State, says he wants to thank God for remembering him in the Command Day Midnight Prayer on the 15th of April. In 2023, he was... 20, at, two three. In 2003. 2003. He was attacked and that led to serious neck affliction, which degenerated to loss of memory. In the midst of it, he was advised to visit a witch doctor for wow. treatment. 
which he refused because he's a child of God. He struggled with this affliction for several years now, but yesterday the Lord remembered him. The senior pastor declared, and he quotes, that neck affliction, I command it arrested now. And everywhere you are facing a neck issue, he said, he declares it is arrested. There is someone with an O and a James and a James name. Wow. He said his name is Paul Ogbaji James. Wow. Immediately after that declaration, he received his healing. Wow. Aye. The pain has checked back to hell forever. Wow. Hey. Praise God. God bless the commanding the day midnight prayer and the entire crew in Jesus' name. The declaration is attached. That neck affliction, I command it arrested. Go in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you are facing a neck affliction, and there's somebody with an O name with a James attached. I declare that affliction returns back to hell. James, James, stand on your feet and let's celebrate. Pray, pray, pray. Celebrate, pray, pray. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrow, and I am free. Shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, I would like you to wake someone up, um, possibly because not everyone is aware of the slight adjustment of timing for Saturday night. Um, wake them up. Let them know that prayer is already on. And um, um, it's explosive. In the book of John chapter 1 verse 5, the Bible said, The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And in Proverbs chapter 14 and in verse 19, Proverbs 14 and in verse 19, it said, The evil bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. Evil shall bow before you. Amen. The wicked shall bow for you. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the consistent, for the consistent victory, victory of light, of light over, darkness, over darkness, of good, of good over, evil, over evil, of righteousness, of righteousness over, wickedness, over wickedness in my life, in, my life, in, our, lives. in our lives. Be glorified, Be glorified oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Father, thank you. In Jesus precious name the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name Mark chapter 16 and in verse 20 the Bible said and they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following 
Amen. Somebody say loud, amen. amen. Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the privilege, for the privilege of, your of your presence with us. With us. That occasion, diversities of testimonies, miracles, miracles signs, signs and, wonders. and wonders be glorified, be glorified. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father, thank you, thank you for the privilege of your presence, of your presence with, us, with us that has occasion diversities, diversities of testimonies, of testimonies miracles, miracles signs and wonders wonder. be glorified oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Jesus go ahead lift your voice and pray <laughs> In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. In John chapter 14 and in verse 30, he said, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and has nothing in me. He comes and has nothing in me. In me. Jeremiah chapter 1 and in verse 18 and 19. I want everybody to read it together with me. One to go. He said, For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. 19. One to go. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For, For I am with thee, thee said the Lord, to, to deliver thee. thee. Everyone who, for, who is fighting against your life and your destiny, they only came to fall. Amen. They came to scatter. Amen. They came to crumble. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, decree we decree the frustration, the, frustration, the, failure, the failure, and defeat, and defeat of every agenda of, every agenda of, hell, of hell rising, rising to counteract to or undermine, undermine your acts your in, our in our lives and in our midst. We declare them null. Avoid, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' precious Amen. name. In Joel chapter 2 and in verse 23, or oh, sorry, Joel 2 3, everybody read it together with me. One to go. The fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burned. The land is as the garden of Eden before them. And behind them a desolate wilderness, yeah, and, and nothing shall escape them. Shout the Lord say, Amen. Lamentation chapter 1 and in verse 13. He said, From above, want to go, everybody. From above, he has sent fire into my bones, and he has prevailed against. That's right. Lift your voice and say for me. Say, Father, I step into this new day. I step into this new day, into the coming day, with the fire of the Lord to devour every contrary force on my way. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, I step into the new day with the fire. Of the Lord to devour every contrary force on my way. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray.
In Jesus' precious name, the Lord had and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. First Kings chapter 5 and in verse 4, First Kings 5 4. Everybody read it together, one to go. But now, the Lord my God has given me rest on every side so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurring. Lift your voice after me and say, Father, I decree this new day. I decree the new day. My day of all round rest from every, ad from every conspiracy of the adversary. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I decree that I am stepping into a new day of all round rest from every conspiracy of the adversary. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead, speak. Father, I decree that I am stepping into a new day of all round rest from every conspiracy of the adversary. I decree this new day, my day of all round rest from every conspiracy of the adversary. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody read Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7. Read it with me with la loud voice. One to go. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint. And I know I shall not be ashamed. Hey! Read it again. Read it again. That's a prophetic word for you. A prophetic word for somebody. One to go. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint. And I know I shall. Hey! You will never be ashamed. No devil will put you to shame. In the name of Jesus. That is your word already before this supplication. Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, I take full delivery of your health and strength for the new day. Against every agenda of shame or defeat. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say after me, Father, I take full delivery of your health and strength in the new day. Against every agenda of shame or defeat. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, go on ahead and pray. <laughs> Jesus precious name. Amen. That shameful agenda of the enemy is arrested in Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 34 verse 15. Psalm 34 verse 15. Want to go everybody? The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. That's right. Lift your voice and say after me. Say Father. Father thank you, thank you for, opening for opening your eyes, your eyes and, ears and ears upon this prayer, upon this prayer altar. altar. Today, Today we receive, receive our answers our answer from you, from you oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for opening, for opening your, eyes your eyes and ears. And ears. Upon this prayer, upon this prayer altar. altar. Today, Today we receive, receive our answers our answer from you, Lord, from you, Lord in Jesus' name. Jesus. Go ahead and speak to God. <laughs>
Jesus precious name. Amen. Lord, I heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 10 verse 4 and 5a and then 10 verse 15. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. He's too proud. Who is God? God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. But your judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, this wicked man perfect at them. But see his end. Break thou the arm of that wicked and evil man. Amen. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father break, the pride break the pride of the wicked, of the wicked whose ways, whose ways are, grievous are grievous and vexatious. And vexatious. Break, the break the arm of his wickedness. Of his wickedness. Seek out his wickedness, out his wickedness until you find none. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of, Jesus. The name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father break, the pride, break the, pride the, the pride of the wicked whose ways whose are grievous and vexatious. and vexatious. Break the arm break the of their wickedness. Seek out their wickedness until you find none. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and speak to God. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in the name of Jesus. In Genesis chapter 19 and in verse 24, we saw how the Lord rained fire and brimstone, and the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from out of heaven. Everything that stands in the way of God, he consumes it with fire. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of, the of the fire of your judgment, of your judgment. on every antichrist, antichrist altar, altar of hate, of hate. Murder, murder, envy, envy jealousy, jealousy, bitterness, bitterness wickedness, 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 slander, slander or, destruction. or destruction. We declare them, we declare roasted, them roasted by fire. fire. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of the fire of, the fire of your judgment on, judgment on every antichrist, on every antichrist altar, altar of hate, of, hate, of murder, murder, of envy, envy of jealousy, jealousy bitterness, 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 wickedness, wickedness slander, slander, or destruction. destruction. We declare them we declare roasted, roasted by fire. fire. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. <laughs> Jesus precious name. These evil altars are set on fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. And now Acts chapter 4 and in verse 31, Acts 4 31. Everybody read it together. I want to go. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were gathered together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spoke the word of God with boldness. This is a Holy Ghost night. And it's, you are going to be filled. With the Holy Ghost, with revelation, with direction, with unction. Lift your voice and shout to me. Say, Father, Father I, ask I ask for the fresh, for the fresh fullness, fullness of, the of the Spirit in my life, in my life. That, will me that will cause me to function, to function in, direction, in direction, revelation, revelation and, passion, and passion with boldness. With boldness. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, ask I ask for the fresh, for the fresh fullness, fullness of the Spirit, of the spirit in, my in my life. That will cause that me will to, function to function in direction, direction revelation, revelation and passion, and passion with boldness. Oh, Lord, in the name of of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray.
Jesus precious name. The Lord bless his word in Jesus name. Mark chapter 2 verse 1 all the way to verse 2. Mark chapter 2 verse 1 all the way to verse 2. He said, and again he entered into Capernaum after some days and it was noised that he was in the house. And straight away many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door and he preached the word to them. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that the news, that the news noise, noise and fragrance, and fragrance of, your of your presence in our midst will, will drag multitudes unto salvation, unto salvation and discipleship. And discipleship. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask that the news, the noise and fragrance of your presence in our midst will drag multitudes unto salvation and discipleship. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and let's pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Wake somebody up very shortly as we step, step into personal supplications. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. Say, Father, thank you for answer to prayers in Jesus' name. Go ahead and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Thank you. Clap and a lot of shout of praise. Take your seat in the pre presence of the Lord as we look at a few months, a few testimonies, and then go into personal supplications. Sister Chiama from Enugu said, Above only that's my place. Good afternoon, Commander Damien. I pray up family. I want to return all the praise to Jesus, who is the doer of all these things, good things. My marriage will be four years in December this year, and I've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. But my period was irregular. So I lost count of my ovulation. But my word of faith came during the prophetic declaration. God's servant, Pastor Paul Enenche, on the 29th of February into the 1st of March, 2024, said, and I quote, That reproach of barrenness is over today. Within a week, we should go and check ourselves. Hey, the Lord that doesn't know what it means to fail has done it all. I tested positive to pregnancy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that God who started this journey with me will see me to full term in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Picture and declaration attached. Somebody give the Lord the praise. That's a picture of pregnancy test, positive, and then the declaration. Hallelujah. Today, I am anointed to announce, and even if yours was not more than that, 25 and above, whatever be your level, and the devil has not been able to fight your relationship, I declare today that reproach of barrenness expires right now. In the name of Jesus, in, within another one week, starting from today, 
you check yourself, it will be confirmed that pregnancy has happened. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. A bigger, bigger, bigger clap and a louder shout of praise. Hallelujah. Next, Mrs. M.O. from Abuja said, Greetings to my commanded day midnight prayer family during the live program on Tuesday, 16 April. Pastor said, The Lord said there is a person suffering from depression combined with anxiety, neurosis, and fear of the future. He's been arrested now in the mighty name of Jesus. And that, is, that the same person or someone else who is suffering from halitosis, which is mouth odor, it is arrested now in the name of Jesus. Brethren, that was me too. I've been suffering from halitosis or bad breath for the past 20 years that has defied all medications. This has often caused me depression as I try always to prevent myself from talking whenever I'm around people. And that has caused a lot of embarrassment to me and kept me in a state of perpetual depression. I thank God for using God's servant to mention my case today and healing me of this, of this shame and disgrace. God bless you, son, and ma, for making yourselves available for God's blessing upon us. Declaration video attached. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of the praise. The Lord is sending me to rebuke the spirit of depression combined with anxiety neurosis. Anxiety, anxious about tomorrow, anxious about the future, anxious about everything, combined with fears, that is also combined with tears, just as frequently as it is possible. That you're just making you like a bag of nerves. I take authority over this spirit of depression and over this spirit of anxiety, neurosis, and fears and tears. Tonight I declare it arrested in the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. The battle with halitosis. Wow. I don't know if it's someone else or the same person, and maybe that's the cause of the depression. I declare today that that, that, that mouth situation order is over right now in the name of jesus give the lord a big clap and a lot of shout of praise it is over in the name of jesus hallelujah ta from kaduna says calvary greetings to the entire commanded day midnight prayer family worldwide i stumbled on the commanded day midnight prayer in the first week of january 2024 and i've remained hooked to this program ever since there is God in this place. So before I joined the commanded day midnight prayer, my daughter of five was initiated. Ah, she usually tells me that they come and carry her to their coven at night. I have cried and prayed all to no avail. But I continued praying because I believed that God will set her free. On the 20th of March, 2024, the senior pastor made a declaration about, about one Alexa, Alexis, about witchcraft. I shouted amen because my daughter's name is Alexandra. And I prayed that night like never before. Brethren, since that day she would say, Mommy, they came but they could not carry me. Hey, thank you Jesus. The senior pastor also gave a word concerning someone whose hair they caught and tempered with their destiny. That was exactly my case as every night the hair around my forehead will be caught to the extent that I don't have a hair at the front of my head again. Thank God that day I prayed and received that declaration. And right now, my hair is growing out again. Hey, God bless senior pastor and God's handmaid for their prayers. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Declaration attached. Her name, Alexis. I don't, I, it, 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 it has a Lex in front of it. Alexis, 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 Alexis or something. Joa patafer in a kalatani kokoloyotosida. Retes efrita kalayatana kagalayatusu. John talati fredada. And witchcraft is arrested. Your progress and journey that has been detained and arrested. I declare it is released. Right now I speak to someone here today. Every witchcraft, household witchcraft, family witchcraft that is affecting your destiny. I declare it is over. Witchcraft arrested and the little baby, they could no longer carry her. Everywhere they are temporary with your life and your destiny, today marks the end of it forever. Shout the Lord and say amen. Yes, this is Mrs. Blessing Peters from Abuja. said, above only, that's my place. Greeting to the command the day midnight prayer crew. Indeed, there is fire on this prayer altar. I joined this midnight prayer on the 23rd of October 2023. My faith was strengthened the more. When I heard the senior pastor say that what I say to one, I say to all. I got married December 2022, and ever since then, no sign of pregnancy. People started questioning me, especially my parents. Went to different hospitals, and I was told that we are medically okay. I started losing faith, but my husband never did, saying that he believes that God has a reason for everything, but I was still concerned. 
on the 24th of March, 2024, commanding the day which was themed walking in dominion. While Dr. Pastor Paul and Encha was declaring and praying, I started feeling restless. My temperature was rising and I started breathing high. I almost collapsed on the floor, but I kept praying. I knew something was wrong. I tried to gather strength and sat on the floor and continued praying, not knowing I was sitting on, on a scorpion. How the scorpion entered my house, I can't tell because there is no bush around me. A few minutes later, I regained strength and told God to remember me today, but still sat on the floor like nothing happened to me. Then I knew I already killed a scorpion. My husband saw me on the floor, helped me up, and saw the dead scorpion. Wow. And I feel like this shock was already happening. I couldn't believe my eyes. And I have children in the house. Immediately, pastor declared, there is someone taking care of children, but you don't have children of your own. In the name above every other name, God will give you your own children. I cause that affliction, and I declare the yoke is broken. God will give you your own children. I shouted, amen. Hey. Finally, my God has located me. Few weeks later, I tested positive. Indeed, God is here. From the bottom of my heart, I am not taking this for granted. I am super grateful to God, and I know he will be with me on this nine-month journey, and I will deliver safely. God bless you, sir and ma, and the command the day midnight prayer crew. More grace and anointing. Amen. Pregnancy test result and declaration attached. Hallelujah. Let our oh, go. Oh. You take care of children, but you don't have your own children. In the name that is above every name, I, I, I curse that affliction. I declare the yoke is broken. God will give you your children in the name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy to everyone, trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I declare the yoke is broken. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. I prophesy also to everyone watching everywhere from all around the globe. This is your night of fruitfulness and conception. Embargo is lifted. Lord, where will you answer me? Now is your day of answer. I declare it done in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let's take a look at some of the recorded video clips and then we'll proceed. And above only, that is my place. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for the commanding the day midnight prayer. I want to thank God for how he has changed my life. I want to appreciate him right from the day I joined the program, 1st of November 2023. My brother sent me the link and I joined. And now I am addicted to the program. I cannot even sleep at night before the time I'm already off. I want to thank God for the servant of God that has made himself available for God to use. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for our mother, his supportive wife. May the name of the Lord be praised in the name of Jesus. And I want to pray that God Almighty will continue to increase your anointing in the name of Jesus. You will not be tired. In Jesus' name, my life has really changed for good. I am now a prayer warrior in my home. I am no longer afraid of the devil. I am no longer afraid of the demon. I am no longer afraid of the intimidation of the enemy in the night dream. I appreciate the name of the Lord for the commanding the day that I have come to stay. May the name of the Lord be praised forever in Jesus' name. All thanks to the midnight crew members you are indeed a wonderful partner may the lord bless all of you in jesus name amen give the lord a praise hallelujah hello good evening to the commanding the day midnight family i'm called sister valdo from cameroon i'm so grateful to be part of this family i joined this family on the first of march 2024 through my mom who sent me the link and since then i've been addicted to this prayer link i've been addicted to this prayer family so um the very first of march that i i followed up this prayer my my word came where the senior pastor cast out the demon of depression. Seriously, I can't really explain. I was just so depressed for for months. And uh, yeah, you all know how um, depression can lead to suicidal thoughts and things like that. But I give glory to God because I'm safe now. Today, uh, it checked back to hell. I'm free from all of that. And I trust God. My, my, my faith level has increased. My prayer level has increased. And 
I am just so close to God now. I'm so grateful. I really wish to thank you, son, Ma, for, for, for letting yourself be used by God to help people like us. I wish it should never end. And may the oil on your head never run dry. Shalom. Thank you. Give the Lord a praise. Yes. Depression just killed like that. Holy, that is my place. I want to thank God for what he has been doing in my life since I joined this prayer platform, this prayer altar of commanding the midnight prayer since last year, October. My life has never remained the same. My life has taken a new dimension. The, 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 the days of prayerlessness, the days of weakness in faith, weakness in spirit, the days of challenges, spiritual challenges are all over. The days of bad dreams are all over. Wow. And God has brought me wow. into the dream of into the new dimension of speed and, 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 and speed and acceleration. I am not taking it for granted. I have returned to say thank you. Yesterday my prayer was called on the sixteenth of on the sixteenth to seventeenth of April. Midnight prayer. God's servant said, Family shall be receiving visitation. That night he made a declaration, and when I slept, I had a, revel a revelation. And when I woke up, the first thing I heard was pray against delay. And that's seven, all through 17, and all through yesterday, being the 18th, being the 18th of April, I prayed all through, trusting God that that delay has been broken. And glory to the name of the Most High God. On the 18th to 19th, that was this very yesterday night, on the 18th, God's servant, he, he, during the during the prayer, during the uh, the prayer, uh, the prayer request, during the prayer, uh, during the prayer, it was my the number 10 prayer was my prayer point that I've been praying for the past two days that God should the hands of God should rest upon us to destroy. To destroy every yoke of delay and bring us into and bring us into the into the dimension of speed and acceleration. I shouted, Amen. Because I know God has answered my prayer and I am not taking it for granted. I want to give praise to God Almighty. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Benny. I am here to testify of the goodness of God in my life and in my family. Since starting commanding the day, been my prayer, it's been such a blessing to me, to us. I really it's increased our prayer life. It's been it's been on fire and that is one of the the most precious thing because sometimes when we're weak, that keeps us together. Secondly, I have a few testimonies that I want to share from commanding the day. January crossing to February, I fell asleep with commanding the day playing, and it's like I had sleep apnea. I couldn't, I couldn't wake up. I couldn't breathe. It's like I was paralyzed in my body. Um, but all I could hear was Pastor Doctor Paul, and the entire night, the only thing that I could do is when it would stop, somehow it would replay, and I felt like I was gonna die that night. But because of the God of Dynamis, God spared my life. Then two weeks later, two days before my little brother's birthday, he had a life-threatening uh, accident that almost took his life. And Pastor Paul made declaration during that period about the spirit of death. But God showed up and he came out on scratch when the car was completely destroyed. Then before joining Commanding the Day, I've been applying for grad program and being rejected. But last week, by the glory of God, when the pastor broke down the power against academics, I got accepted into a prestigious school in California to start my graduate program. And the Lord has just been providing when we've been struggling here and there and God has just been opening doors financially for work and just different doors and I'm just here to return God the glory. Thank you so much Pastor Dr. Paul and Dr. Becky. We are so grateful for everybody. May God reward you. We can't wait to see you here in the United States and in Congo, Dira Congo, Kinshasa. Thank you so much. God bless you. She's applying for Congo. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. What a mighty, mighty, mighty God. The spirit of death in that family, I declare it arrested in the name of Jesus. Embargo played, 
placed on your life and destiny is lifted. Stand on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Everybody, body, body. Celebrate everybody. shout of praise hallelujah another one no day hallelujah let's go before god and let's go ahead present your personal supplication in 30 seconds or appreciation first and then supplication in another 60 seconds Would you be upstanding and lift your hands high? It's a Holy Ghost night. I receive an impartation of the Holy Spirit tonight. Whatever you need the Holy Spirit for, you begin to ask him right now. Lift your hands up.
Lift your hands high. Spirit move all over me. Over me. Oh Lord. Spirit move all over me. Over me. Would you lift up your hands high up everywhere you are? When I say in the name of Jesus, you begin, you scream and receive. There is fire of fresh passion for God coming. There is fire of divine revelation and direction coming. There is intensity of spirituality coming. And then when I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream and receive. Oh, the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Begin to blast in tongues. If you have never prayed in the Holy Ghost before with the evidence of speaking with tongues, we are going to hear your testimony tomorrow. And you are going to let us know that when I say, when we say receive, you open your mouth and begin to speak. Not in English and not in your language. The language that the, the Lord will put in your mouth that will come across in your mind, you speak it out and then let it begin to flow. Some of you will come under the anointing. Where you are right now, some of us, you're, you are shifting in level in your spiritual life, shifting in levels in your prayer life, in your spiritual operation, even your tongue is about to change. Battle war tongues. Jala paratasa atasada. Father, let it fire fall. Let it fire fall. Let the impact happen. Let the impartition happen. In the name of Jesus, are you ready? Lift your hands and receive the fresh feeling of the Holy Ghost. The fresh impartition of the Holy Ghost. When I say the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you place your hand on yourself, scream, receive. And blessing comes in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. I Jesus, Amen. the Lord has heard and the Lord has answered us Amen. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift up your hands everywhere you are. Father, thank you. Father, thank you for fresh passion. Father, thank you for fresh fire of revival that came upon someone. Thank you for fresh infilling. All right, a second touch. Lift your hands now. A second touch. I receive that there is a need for a second touch. Lift your hands high. When I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, this time is fire. The fire shall burn the cancer. The fire shall burn the spirit of slumbering. The fire shall burn the ancestral curse, the generational curse. The fire of the Holy Ghost shall burn everything my Father in heaven has not planted. Father, let the fire fall. In the name of Jesus, one, two, and three. Yes, yes. Precious name. So shall it be. Lift your hands and receive. Father, thank you for hearing 
Thank you for intervening. Arthritis on the knees being healed right now. I take authority over that arthritis in the name of Jesus. Somebody with the right hand affliction, like a partial stroke, symptoms of partial stroke. I consider I call it healed. I command that agenda of hell on the right hand retreat and refired back to hell in the name of jesus a man with a breast affliction a breast affliction already the breast is swelling like gynecomastia and it's a breast pathology i curse that affliction of that breast in the man in the name of jesus to your roots whatever it is if it's a normal swelling or a cancerous swelling i cause it to its roots right now in the name of jesus somebody with the right calf pain like a deep vein thrombosis i take authority over that affliction precious socks he can take the leader be healed in the name of Jesus I hear a name that sounds like Fina whether it starts with F or PH I and or something Laos the Frena the Layana Kakalari the Soto Fratinana Jetola Tiatala I see a lot of spirit of isolation a spirit of disconnection the road seemed to be a very lonely road very isolated very lonely very disconnected every spirit and every agenda of hell you see before destruction is isolation when the devil wanted to destroy Uriah the Hittite he isolated him in the name of Jesus everyone who is a victim of the spirit of, 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 of dejection disconnection isolation and then the devil wanted to move into depression and then to move into destruction today he said what i speak to one i speak to all for no just reason the devil caused loved ones to leave you to live your life friends left you the relations left you i declare today that spirit is arrested and returned back to hell in the name that is above every name in the course of the prayer someone with an unbearable kind of headache i declare that that headache is resolved right now i declare you healed and you are whole in jesus precious name a testicular affliction on the left testicle i declare accompanied with the lower waist condition i declare it healed in the name that is above every name and every affliction of the prostate gland in i declare that affliction arrested every testicular atrophy testicular okay let the para be healed right now. Prostate disease also be healed right now. Lower back condition also be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to somebody. You will not die like your father died. You will not die like your mother died, like your brothers died. What is affecting others in your family cannot affect your life. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord and say amen. All the way in a place called Plano, Texas. God is giving somebody a visitation right there. And I take authority over poisoning in your system. Whatever be the root of that thing, I declare it retrieved and refired back to hell. And maybe you are not in that particular place, but anywhere you are, poisoning in your system, chemical poisoning or any form of food poisoning or any form of poisoning in your body, I declare today it is cleared and cleaned out of your system. I declare your healing and your wholeness right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever my Father in heaven has not planted, I declare it uprooted. I saw, while I was talking about this, I saw that somebody sat on a chair and they had placed something on that chair before you sat down. And when you sat, you knew that something just you just felt like a shock or something. And since then, your body and your life has not been normal. I take authority over any poison, any charm, any arrow from hell fired into your body. Fired, oh my gosh, another person you shook hands with somebody and you felt something all of a sudden. And since then, you know your life has not been normal. I declare that arrow retrieved and refired back to sender. Somebody shout back to hell. Back to hell. Lift your hands and say back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Thank you, Master. In the name of Jesus. I see a man with an A, or a person, an A and L with a K inside. Alco, Aluko, something. 
A L K is inside O is inside two. It goes up a ranina na la rota sa frina na galajte jatora ta sa tala la 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 la. That 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 arrow of premature death is cut short. Is arrested. That attack on the chest is arrested and returned back to hell. In the name that is above every name, Maho Shatada. That attack of breathlessness, with the fear of death, with the aura of death, with the threat of death around your life, is retrieved and refired back to hell. Whether it's a first name or a surname, I declare it is retrieved and refired back to hell. And I speak to everyone who is in that kind of condition. Every fear of death, every arrow of death on your chest that is trying to cut you short like it cut somebody else short, I declare it is retrieved and refired back to hell. If you are saying amen, say it louder, amen. The Lord is visiting somebody and I don't know whether the person is watching right in the prison or the person's relation is standing for them, but the person committed a very, very um, grievous crime, as grievous like a grievous crime, like a crime of murder, and and and, and it deserves it deserves the capital punishment. That person, but I see mercy prevailing tonight for the release of this person. Whether you are in the prison or right now watching, or you have a brother or a relation that killed the person and and, he, and, and is guilty as charged, but Jehovah is intervening on the ground of mercy. All of a sudden, the case is called off. All of a sudden, discharged and acquitted. The person is remorsefully has changed. It's a different person now. Father, thank you because it is done. And before the next seven days, you will hear news at least that the case is being called off. And Jehovah is intervening. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen. And everyone here today, I speak mercy on your life. That's right. God, there is a river of mercy flowing. This is what mercy does. Mercy delivers you from the anger of your enemies. But there is a second important thing that mercy does. Mercy delivers people from consequences that are deserved. You deserve it. That is, you didn't go to work the way you should. You deserve to be sacked. Then you plead mercy. And mercy prevails. Do you understand mercy now? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Grace gives you favor you don't deserve. Mercy withholds from you punishments you deserve. And so if you can understand now, there is somebody who is pleading for mercy in one area of your life or the other, in one situation or the other. I prophesy today, there is a river of mercy flowing. That river that is flowing to that man in the prison, that man that killed the person, there is a river of mercy flowing. Receive mercy, receive mercy, receive mercy, receive the river it will flow overnight and very soon you are going to get a text you are going to get a call you are going to get a mail you are going to get a communication that mercy has prevailed over judgment give the lord a big clap and a lot of shout of praise god is delivering Mahosha, Imelda, receive your freedom, receive your deliverance, receive your liberation. I see mercy speaking for you as well. But beyond that, I see God visiting your female reproductive system, Liketasa, and also inter inter intervening in your, in your marital destiny and breaking every spell and embargo, anti marital spell on your life and intervening in the fruitfulness area and speaking mercy over your life. And everyone that is, 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 is connected with any form of Marital embargo. The embargo is lifted in the name of Jesus. Female reproductive system program is resolved and mercy is speaking in the name of Jesus. Spell of masturbation just got broken. Nightmare spell just got broken. The last time you slept and woke up sweating because of nightmares is the last forever. And the left eye of somebody just got healed. Somebody say a loud amen. Can you give the Lord a clap and a turn around shout of hallelujah. You believe mercy has spoken for you. Receive the shout of victory. And I announce today, 
every prayer you prayed into the into the new day this Sunday, the twenty first of April, I declare their full manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. this communion is the communion of a new season. It's a communion of mercy. The communion of a new season, the communion of a new day, a new phase, and the communion of mercy. Father, we pray upon this communion. We ask that mercy will speak for everyone who is connected, related, associated with this command in the day, midnight prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and everything that is not of God, be flushed out of your system. In Jesus' precious name. And you, you, are, you can pick the communion and let us go um, very, very ready. But before, while we are doing that, before you can take that communion, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. I'd like you to pray this prayer after me. Everywhere in need of surrender, in need of forgiveness of your sins. And say after me, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. Forward, ever, backward, never. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Celebrations while the communion is taken. And then one more thing. And we are through. Those who pray the prayer of surrender, let us know that you did that through the details on the screen. Let's go. Are you thinking of quitting the race? There is no need to give up on your journey because I know my God will turn it around. Are you weighed down by battles of life? Are you thinking of quitting the race? is communicated. Help is communicated. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost it is communicated. Next time we hear from you it shall be testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead celebrate. Merci Seigneur. Merci Seigneur. Hallelujah. Anybody excited? Let us know that you are excited and you are, you are appreciative of this timing, especially for sun, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Also, let us know. Uh, um, tomorrow night, we're back to normal timing, 11.30, crossing um, into, into, into Monday. But for Saturday, because of sleeping and waking up uh, and being on time on Sunday, 6.30 a.m. is first service and 9 a.m. is second service. Impartation services in Dunamis at the Glory Dome, and then the locations have their timing. Somebody say aloud, Amen. Ethiopia Crusade is on, uh, planning very, very aggressive. Kenya Crusade is on. All of you in Kenya, all of you in Ethiopia, the earth is being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. As the waters cover the seas, God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Will you stretch your two hands in front of you, everybody? I ask that the harvest will look for you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. God bless you. Go on ahead and give, up, give your offerings, give your tithes and your pledges. God bless you. See you tomorrow. 2024. Above only and above only. God bless you. Let's go. Is it only over new day? Is it only over new day? Come on. Hey. Is it only over new day?